Hey, music listeners, this is Sean from Unclaimed Bands, and tonight we're coming from the great room with uh, Love Betty. Welcome, guys. Hello, Sean. Glad to have you here. Uh, to my left here is Fritz. He's uh, had some plastic surgery and a uh, lengthening of the bones. That's why he's sitting right now, otherwise he'd be out of frame. Bones, bones, not bone, not bone, no bone. If he had a lengthening of the bone, he wouldn't be here for the interview. He'd be out testing that. Really excited about the interview, Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, probably yes. So I, I, to get back to the actual interview now, your people. And by the way, this is sponsored by McDonald's. Um, would you like to talk about our sponsorship with McDonald's, there, Fritz? They have good egg McMuffins. Good egg McMuffins. Is that all you want to say about it? Orange anybody juice. else want to? Anybody else want to elaborate on on that? Honestly, you really don't want yeah, us to. Yeah, great egg McMuffins. Yeah. Great, yep. great egg McMuffins. Okay, McDonald's, send me some free coupons or something right now. Okay. So uh, I want to I want to ask you guys. Uh, we'll just start off real, real quick here. Um, you guys had a, uh, a mention recently in Rolling Stone magazine. Do you want to talk about that a little bit? Tell us what what happened there. Um, well, it was uh, what over the winter. Um, we we got an email um, asking for some promo pictures, and. We we're like, sure, of course, send some promo pictures. How wonderful, you know? And then we're like, do some research. Like, who is this person asking us for promo pictures? And we checked it out, and it happened to be the um, artistic. Uh, editor of uh, photo photography, I think, the senior editor of photography at uh, Rolling Stone. It just uh, caught us off guard. I mean, we we did not see that coming, and uh, we were just like, why wouldn't they put their name of, oh, that's why. Yeah, and, uh, so we asked, we emailed her and said, could you, could you tell us what it was about? She's like, nope, I'm sorry, it's a surprise. You'll find out soon enough. And sure enough, we were a, a band to watch, which was an incredible honor, obviously. Um, we were really, that was, that was amazing. So we've kind of been riding high on that for a while. <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. I imagine. Yeah. So the next step is the cover, right? That's yeah. what that's every what band wants. I was like, that's all good, but uh, I won't be happy until I get the cover of that. So, yeah. you know, <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I mean, really, that'd be that amazing. That or uh, world domination, you know? Well, of course, yeah. we've got to, yeah, you got to you got to start somewhere, right? Yeah, yeah. World domination, universe later. Yeah. What, what was it like for you guys to, uh, to, I mean, what did you take away from that, being, being included with it? It's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> okay, that's good. No, it was very, very surreal. Th thank you. Like, you're just happy. You're just happy you went on Fritz's like the mindset right now. No. That's all I got. No, you're talk. You're not talking enough. Honestly, I mean, you're just happy you weren't on like to, to catch a predator one to watch, right? Oh. I just. It was on there already. <laughs> anyway, Fritz has left the interview. So uh, let's uh, let's talk to you. Who are you? I'm you're Brandon. New. I'm newish. Yeah, you know, about a month shy of a year, actually. A month shy of a year. I haven't yeah. seen you guys in a while. Jesus. Oh yeah, it was uh, Dewey Beach. I met you last year, September. I was probably drunk. So. Yeah, yeah. Well, we all were. We all were. I was drunk all weekend. <laughs> so, uh, what's it been doing. like for you to be in the band? It's been a lot of fun. A lot of yeah. fun adventures. We've been on the road a lot. Um, back and forth to the East Coast, down to uh, Austin, Texas. Uh, we're writing songs on the road, staying busy. You know, it's it's been a blast. Cool, cool, cool. Are you ready to come back to yeah. the interview? Okay. I was I joking wanna, about that. Know. Okay. He 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 he. I'm not even gonna elaborate any further than that. That's good Look call. for the photos online. So uh, now you guys have a, a pretty big event coming up. You've uh, you've been invited to play Sturgis, right? Yeah. Um, now who are you playing with? Tell everybody. We are um, opening for the Cult and Queensrÿche. Yeah. On August second, um, on the Buffalo Chip stage. Yeah, it's, um, we we were Wolf able Man to Jack. get a yeah. Wolf, wait, wait, Wolfman Jack. The Wolfman Jack main stage at Sturgis. We we are actually a main stage headliner at Sturgis. Um, headliner, see? Yeah. Ah, how exciting nice. is that? It's a trip. Yeah. I mean, it's about a hundred thousand people. So you know. Is, is that the biggest uh, audience you've ever played for? Yeah, around? it would have to be at that point. You yeah. know, yeah. I mean, that's that's pretty surreal. <laughs> No, 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 right? Not at all. Yeah, no, you're true. True, unless it's televised. But yeah, that's later. But but hell, man, that's you know, that's that's incredible. Actually. Oh, really? Yeah. What's going to be televised? What I understand. There's there's a bunch. We had to do a big blanket, you know, approval for you know who can televise and publicize and everything like that. And we're also we have our own videographer coming too. So. Oh, okay, great, great. Cool footage, hopefully. Yeah. Okay, good, because I was going to ask about that. If you find out what channel or station is broadcasting, please yeah. let us know, okay? Oh, we will. Definitely, we definitely want to see that. Yeah. Well, you know, I want to talk. Before this, you, all, you guys also did Summerfest. Mm -hmm. 
So uh, what was that like for you playing at? Was this the first time you played it? Uh, Summerfest, last year was our second year there. Um, uh, first year we did uh, the Emerging Artist Series, and um, we were fortunate enough to win the Emerging Artist Award, or whatever it was. Um, we, it was awesome. It was sponsored by um, Taylor Guitars and Sennheiser uh, Microphones, um, so that was amazing. We got all like we got a Taylor guitar, we got some amazing microphones, which I refuse to use anything other than that because I love them so much. Um, amazing books with all kinds of information for bands like us trying to make their way up and things like that. Um, it was super awesome. And then last year, we got to be the uh, direct support for Rick Springfield, which was awesome. Really? Yeah, I mean, it was it was a surreal experience. I was, I was really, really, really nervous. And um, one of the things, it was funny because earlier in the day I had posted to all of our fans and I said, listen, I don't know if you guys know this, but I get really nervous before we play and not having you guys here, like not having anyone that knows our songs, like, you know, send me some words of encouragement. I need it today. Mm -hmm. I'm really freaking out a little bit. And um, they, I, I had like, I was like 175 comments of people just being so sweet and wonderful, which just like totally lifted me up. And I was reading them right before I got on the stage and we get out there and we're playing and... I see all the people in the front row singing with me, like to our original music. And I was like, is this happening? And I was just like, this is the best thing ever. And I just like uh, uh. went crazy and just had like the best time. And so after we got done, I jumped off the stage and was hugging everyone and saying, thank you. And they're like, oh, well, I was like, how did you know our music? Like, I don't even understand. They're like, oh, we want to know, we want to see Rick and we want to see who was opening up for them. We listened to you and we fell in love with you guys. Like, we downloaded your CDs and we've been listening to you ever since. And so it was just really like, the most wonderful, heartwarming, amazing experience I think that you could possibly have had. You know, I, I couldn't have asked for anything better than that. Mm -hmm. um, I don't think I would have done nearly as good of a job if it weren't for those people giving me like that extra like little push. Yeah, yeah, that, that extra push of like we got you got this. You know, so it was it was really magical actually. Now, did you get to meet Rick? We did. Yeah. yeah. We were actually on stage for Jesse's girl. <laughs> yeah. Really? His guitar yeah. player was my favorite, though. He was so cool. I'm, like, standing side stage, like, the whole show, actually, watching them. And he, like, in, in the middle of Jesse's girl, comes over and goes, Hey, Red, nice job tonight. And I'm like, thank you? And he's like, you want to drink a beer? And I'm like, you're playing. He's like, I know. Go get one. He's like, go get us a beer. We'll share it. I'm like, Okay, so I like, shared a beer with his guitar player, and he was the coolest dude ever. Like, it was just so much fun. Like, we just had the best time. It really oh, was amazing. wow, that's great. That's yeah. really great. Now, now, uh, you guys also shot a video or had some video yeah, shot we of did, that. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, can, I'd like to take a take a look at one. Show everybody one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, is this going to be the one for uh, uh, your own worst enemy? Yep. It is. Yeah. All right, great. This is your own worst enemy. Uh, but love Betty. Your back against the wall 
I can tell you, looked at that a couple times, liked it. Uh, thing I wanted to ask is, um, you're, you, you mentioned that for, uh, for the upcoming um, Sturgis show, you're gonna have your own videographer there. Mm-hmm. Is that the person who shot this? Um, well, Springwood Productions is the one that did uh, the one for Summerfest. Okay. They're incredible, the greatest people. You guys have met them at Dewey, they're amazing. Okay. Yeah, Super yeah, nice yeah, people. yeah, all right. Um, but we actually, um, the friend that's coming with us to Sturgis, he lives in the same town as us, um, super cool dude, and he really wanted to be able to come with us to Summerfest, but he wasn't yeah. able to. Um, so since they got to come to that one, we're going to bring him to this to yeah. Sturgis. So. It's going to be uh, Marcus Morelli from uh, Skeen 19. Mm-hmm. If you guys get a chance, check out his YouTube channel. He's, uh, he's got some amazing work on there. Yeah, really great. Now, now, did you guys find that they captured the good side of you in the video? There is no good side of Larry. Depends. It's, it's, it really depends. It, no, if you it's catch this side, it's the bad side. You gotta talk a lot. You catch this side. That's a good side. That's yeah, that's a good side. We like that side. Yeah. No, no, product placement. Well, no, I I mean, (laughs) not whatsoever. No, I I ask because a lot of times, let's face it, muffins are good. (laughs) (laughs) A lot of times, the drummer's kind of in the back, and it's hard to. I know from taking photos. Oh no, we had a camera set up right over my head, coming down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's that cool. Was yeah, it was, you didn't have to see his face. Yeah. Well, there yeah. were three yeah. other ones coming yeah. back awesome. at me, so yeah. it was all right. Well, that's why I like that video, okay? Yeah, yeah, makes sense. So, uh, you guys are playing tonight at uh, the Grape Room here, okay? Um, but are you in Philly for any other reason right now? Yeah. You're working on anything new? Uh, we are. We're working on um, some new songs getting recorded at the Philly Sound Studios. Um, amazing studio. Super love those guys. Um, they... We met them at um, Dewey Beach again, actually, um, at Pop Fest in April, and they took a really big liking to us and offered us um, to come to their studio, and we just had the most amazing time. So we just, we were there for a couple of days, um, about a couple weeks ago. I lose track of time, really. It it all kind of runs together for me. A couple weeks ago. Let's say, hypothetically, maybe there's going to be a new single and video in the next while how about that yeah a while like check out your fairy tale books to look at how long a while goes okay but that's okay you'll let people know right beforehand uh, we're working on something of course good i'm, yeah. sure, I'm sure it's gonna be great wait what's that gotta wait for my kiss oh wait wait for you yeah that's okay i'm not gonna wait for that one oh fairy tale oh. yeah but that's a prince <laughs> or is that the frog don't or, no okay fail. what am i don't kiss him. No. I, I don't, don't play. I, I, I just, I seen, thought maybe. You heard I've about been, McDonald's, been, right? Yeah, don't well, kiss him. Yeah, don't do it. Yeah. It goes longer than McDonald's. Big Macs. <laughs> What's that good Big Mac? It was a Big Mac. Oh, I, yeah. you know, I don't even know what that story is, but I'm painting a picture in my head. That's all you need. Yeah. <laughs> we'll never tell, but boy, is it fun to tease him with. So, so, um, so obviously, okay, you can't tell us when. But you will be, you will be, say, within the year, maybe? Oh, definitely. definitely. Oh, definitely. Yeah, yeah. definitely all right, all right. Definitely, yeah. And what, what, uh, what's the best place in case anybody out there hasn't heard our first interview with you and they're too lazy to Google right now? What's the best place for them to go to find out and keep up with you guys? I mean, Facebook, we're updating every day, like yeah. all the time. So Facebook slash Love Betty. It's Love Betty, one word, Betty with an I-E. Um, and you know. that's always a good place to see what we're doing and whatever. And also, lovebetty.com is always updated. Also, you know, Instagram, YouTube, iTunes. You're all on the whole Twitter, thing, there, right? All Twitter, that. We're, we are internet. Cover social media. If it exists, we have it. Yeah. 
I see Q. What was your ICQ? 4474 Hit him up. Mine was, mine, my, my aim, my aim name was Scoop3313. Why, I don't know. I don't even, I don't even know. Wow. Those are like those auto-generated ones? No. That's Scoop. Wow, well, even no. more. Scoop3313. Scoop. Three, three, I have no idea Fail. why. <laughs> Whatever. It, it could have been worse, trust me. All right, well, look, I want to thank you guys for taking time. I know you're going to be going on a little bit. I really appreciate it. Okay. Uh, welcome, new guy over there. Are you, are you awake? I'm sorry. Oh, you look like you're falling uh, asleep. Uh, he's drunk. Oh, oh, well, that's yeah, okay. That's I'm, I'm acceptable meditating. then. He's you meditate? Drunk. <laughs> sure. go, go with the drunk. Yeah. He's okay. just really drunk all the time. Just really drunk all the time. Okay. Uh, this is Sean from Unclean Bands. My guests have been love Betty. This is the third time we've interviewed him, and I love this band. Okay. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm playing favorites. I know I am, okay? But that's okay. It's my show, all right? <laughs> Till next time, everybody. Talk to you a little later. Thank you.